Okay, so I just finished recording this video and realized I never even went over all the two combos. So let's speed run that at the start before we get into it. Um, D light, dash jump there. D light, side light. D light, end light. Um, Nair into GC end light. Nair into GC side light. Um, Nair into there. Nair into recovery. Uh, GC D light into recovery. And I think the last one is GC D light into Nair. That should be it. Hopefully, maybe. You can also do ground to D light into recovery, but that's at higher health. So, um, yeah, that's into 700 health. There we go. <laughs> yeah, anyway, now let's get into it. And um, yeah, subscribe, please, if you enjoy. Yeah, thank you. Okay, bye. So, you want to be a gauntlet god? We're bringing that intro back. It's been a while since the scythe guide. I thought, like, it's about time we do one for gauntlets. It is about time. And uh, I, I'm just going to be going over, like, every single tip I can even think of. Um, it's probably going to be quite a long video. Um, we, we should just get, we should get straight into it. So, first, I'm going to go off of... Actually, I'm going to give you tips for neutral because, you know, without neutral game you're not going to be able to get dodge reads in the first place like you're going to need a a good neutral like you know first and foremost so on gauntlets right style light is your friend um even though it doesn't have the most range it's like excuse the police car um it isn't the most punishable of moves uh i'd say weapons that you shouldn't side light too much like against uh is spear um just because it puts you in perfect range for a downlight and then you know that's a lot of damage so but uh, yeah no side light's good and like if you miss a side light right like so say you're here right and you miss it you can do something like that which like just to cover yourself up um or you can even just do another side light like your side light is such a good tool in neutral just like it sets up so much as well. Um, it's probably one of the best things to actually um, uh, like like convert off of, because if you get a dodgy out of side light, all the ga all the damage sorry is guaranteed after that. Uh, if you get a dodgy out of like a dare, um, a lot of the damage is jumpable. Uh, same if you get a dodgy out of like, you know, I think that's about it. A dare or a nair actually. Um, either of those, a lot of the damage that you're going to get after a dodge read, after those moves specifically, are jumpable. So, uh, side light, very good tool. Uh, extremely good. Uh, another massive tip for gauntlets, which you will realize the more you play them, is that dare in neutral is actually amazing. Like, it is very, very good. Uh, one reason for this, if I can set him... Okay, well, I couldn't find a setting to do it, but, um, basically... If someone's like spot dodging, right, and you know, every time you approach, you can't hit because they're spot dodging every time, right? Like, I, the Rayman would be spot dodging now, but there isn't the side because training mode is, isn't the best. But, um, a dare, the actual active frames on dare last longer than a spot dodge, if that makes sense. So, like, if you dare, right, and they spot dodge the dare, they're still gonna get hit by it because the dare lasts longer than the spot dodge does, if that makes sense. So, um, yeah, no, Dare is, is, is an insane tool in neutral as well, uh, because, like, if you're struggling to actually get that first hit in, and they're just dodging everything, you can just get above them, hit a Dare, and there's really not much they can do about it at that point. So, uh, yeah, I, I don't think there's too much, like, obviously there's things like, you know, GCD light, um, but I'm gonna go over that anyway. But, uh, that, that's a decent tool, I wouldn't really say neutral, it's more of like a, more of like a wake-up tool. Uh, I'd say because if you throw one out in neutral it can get punished like pretty easily and obviously if you GC a move and you get punished and you don't have a dodge uh, it's it's looking kind of peak for you so yeah keep that in mind I actually forgot to go over end light and uh, end light is such an amazing tool on gauntlets because I mean first it hits stacked second it comes out nearly instantly so think of like a hammer end light right end light is just it's such a good move to cover yourself you know after a whiff 
um, after a landing, so you know you land, you can't like find how to land. Then you land, do an end light, and then you know yours will come up before their move does. Like it's just it's instant, and you know it's just such a good get off me tool. Um, also for wake ups too, uh, like if you're like getting hit by a string, you can just interrupt it most times with a GCN light. Um, I mean obviously it's very situational, but it works when it does work. <laughs> I mean obviously, but. Um, yeah, no, and light is also insane on gauntlets. So uh, yeah, don't forget about that move because a lot of people do when they when they're picking up the weapon. But um, I feel like we should go over reeds next. Um, I don't even know where to start. So if you're hitting a D light, right? You, you, your two options are gonna be, you know, either D light there. Uh, I should turn stun on, uh, or D light side light. So reeds out. Those are really important i actually have a full video on them so i'm gonna go over them really quickly i'm just gonna go over the the basic ones um i'll leave uh in the top right corner that there'll be a card to my like gauntlet's read guide which goes over literally every single read in depth so if you want to know that then uh, make sure to check that out but um yeah i'm i'm gonna, just gonna go over like the most common ones and i'm gonna go over options that cover a lot of dodges so uh, let, let's go over. Let's go over side light first. Um, so, something that you should all know, and if you don't, you're about to change your life, is that you know, side light into GC side light is such a good option on gauntlets. Um, I'd recommend doing this not at the start of a stock, but near the end of a stock. So if they're quite damaged, right? Uh, that's not going to KO. This is shipwrecked, and you hit this. They're done. Uh, and it covers... So if you do it to the right, it covers down. Uh, it, sh <laughs> it should do. There we go. Um, it covers, obviously, to the right. It covers down and right. So down, down and right and right is what is what it covers um, doing it to the right. Uh, and you can react as well, which is one of the best things about it. Um, you know, say if you set it to random... Um, you can just, you can see which way they're going to go, and then you can kind of react to it, like that, um, we, which is pretty insane, so you should definitely be looking for that at the end of a stock, but anyway, doing it to the left covers, obviously covers left, you can't do it, so like, like that, right, you can't do it straight away, you kind of have to go over to the right first, so like, if you're struggling to hit it, right, try and kind of go over, like, just kind of wait, if you know what I'm saying so you kind of like drift over to the right before you do the GC so that you know the side light will actually hit because if you do it straight away you're just gonna you're gonna miss them uh, but it covers left um, it covers down and left wherever that is what it doesn't exist down and left there we go uh, once again <laughs> drift to the right so like this uh, it covers that and I think that's it for the left. Um, so you might be thinking, you know, obviously if they dodge up, uh, there's there's not much you can do about this. But if you do a jump, right, if you know they're going to dodge up and away, or if you know they're going to dodge, you know, up and in, then you can do a jump and then GC a side light. Uh, you can also just do a chase dodge recovery like that. But obviously it's like you saw, this kills... Whereas this doesn't. So, yeah, keep that in mind. And then oh, it's the same thing for left. Uh, I might as well show it off. Um, so, you can jump, do it, and then boom. They're done. So, yeah, out of a side light, another side light is one of the best options, funnily enough. Um, but then, if they're at low health, something I love to do on Gauntlets, uh, and this is one of the biggest tips I can give, is like i said with reacting right that, that's one of the best things that you can have on a weapon is for the dodge reads to be reactable um on after a side light a lot of the time i'll touch the ground first like i'll fast fall after a side light and i'll wait to see where they dodge and then i'll jump back in the air and then it's just instant damage um because you know you have their dodge and it's completely the rest of the string right i'll, I'll show you what is unjumpable um, all this is free damage. Uh, you can see the health there, there in like deep orange. 
So it's pretty insane, and that's just off one read. Um, in is also the same. Uh, you can reset to the floor and then react to the in dodge and then get all this damage. Um, I've gone over that combo if you struggle to do it. Uh, it is, it's just a, a nair into a GCD light, into a chase dodge nair, into a jump ground pound, and then you fall and do recovery. Um, if you do struggle to do that, uh, I have a guide. Um, the, the guide I was talking about at the start of the video where I go over all the reads in that video, I go over how to do that combo like more in depth. But uh, you can probably, you know, put this video on slow motion or something and watch it and might help you understand better. But um, yeah, so the in and the spot dodge reads being basically the same, uh, you know, it's, it's pretty nice because those are the the most common dodges in most ranks anyway. So, you know, it's, it, it's nice that they're the same, basically. Anyway, mostly the same. So, um, yeah, for away, though, it's a bit like... Uh, for away, you can do stuff like this, and then, you know, you can do, like, gauntlet stuff off stage or whatever, but if you want to do the nair, you ha it's a really hard read because you have to... You have to really commit to it um, because you need to get over there in time to turn the nair around because... If you hit it like this, on most stages they're going to be off the stage like that and you can't follow it up. So you want to really get over there and then turn it around uh, so you can actually, you know, get the full combo. Um, down is a tricky one uh, because the most optimal thing to do is to hit a, a fast full nair, uh, which I'm, I'm struggling to do. Like this and then you can get the damage, you know, you're all good. But the problem with it is um, it, that fast full nair you can hit it like this and you're just too low to do anything um I, i'll try and show another example of hitting it too low it's like like this and then you know you're hitting it so low that you're not high enough like they bounce higher than you are so you can't hit the gcd light so you can't get like a good follow-up off it so you know you really have to get used to the input to make sure you know you're not going to be doing that and um well, your opponent as well dodging at like different times is, is going to make it harder too is gonna like mess with your timing so it's a bit tricky uh, something else you can do after after a dodge down though is you can do dare loops which is this um, the problem with that is that dare into nair is jumpable so that's why I'd advise learning to hit the nair properly but this is this is good you know like it can catch people off guard it's just the fact that this is is actually jumpable which is um, annoying. If it wasn't though, Gauntlets would be a bit a bit busted. So, I mean, it's there for a reason, but uh, just keep that in mind that you can't actually hit this if they just jump out. So, um, yeah, I think that's but mostly important reads. Uh, something else you can do if they're high health, um, that I, if I just stick it to like 160, uh, if they dodge down, you can do a fast full recovery and you know that can hit but obviously then if you do if they dodge down you can also do a gc side light as well so yeah the reason that you would do a recovery uh just straight away after you dodge down is because it also hits uh if they do neutral so it kind of covers both dodges and then obviously if they dodge up you, you just need to you just need to do that um yeah i, I don't a lot of people just don't dodge up though because you know the <laughs> you're just getting hit by the recovery like it's basically the same as not dodging at all so you're not going to see a lot of that so uh, don't don't worry too much but if you do then you know what to do now i guess um the second thing is dares so obviously d light dash jump dare is you know one of the most common things you'll see on gauntlets as a string starter um and what i like to do nearly every single time out of a dare is even though, and you might not know this, side like now is jumpable, a lot of people don't jump out of it. If you do it like frame perfectly, people don't jump out of it. Um, I don't think the bot even jumps out of it if you do it properly. Yeah, which is uh, weird, but you know, uh, I don't even know if it's jumpable if I'm being completely honest, but everyone says it's jumpable. Uh, I feel like it is. I don't know, but the bot can't, but that might just be a training mode thing. I'm, I'm not sure. Anyway. This is a goal on its guide, I don't even know what I'm talking about. <laughs> anyway, dare reads. So, if they dodge left or in, what I like to do, and this covers a lot of dodges, is touch the ground, 
chase dodge right and then i'll chase dodge away and then you know do a side light back in and then hit the net uh, and then you can obviously you can get all the damage again uh, even though you chase dodged you touch the ground after which means you get your dodge back so you have a um you have a dodge to do a gc so you can do the gc there there um and because you're catching the dodge after the dare and not after the side light you can't actually get that recovery in at the end of the string uh, i'll show you which one i mean now if i <laughs> we don't mess up my inputs um you can hit this ground pound but then you can't hit that recovery because they have their dodge back by then so um yeah this also catches in and uh in and up up and in yeah that's the one um like that which is actually a pretty common dodge uh for some reason but in is definitely the most common dodge i think out of uh out of a dare or a d light dare anyway um so there's that uh if they dodge up out of a d light dare uh i like to just do a dash jump there like this and if that catches you can get the recovery in at the end and obviously this isn't jumpable at all um there's nothing jumpable in this and you can get this recovery in because you know you're catching the dodge on the net uh, not on the not on the side light um so that's always good but if you want to have the highest chance of catching a dodge out of a dare or a side dare actually um a gc side light will do it because it will catch a spot dodge like that it will catch a up dodge like that it will catch right unless it doesn't I'm pretty sure it does. <laughs> I don't even know what happened there. Okay, maybe it doesn't catch right, but it catches down. Like that. Down and right, it also catches. Or up and right, even, as well. But it also catches down and right. So, I mean, you're seeing just how how effective this is at catching dodges. And also, it happens out of Cider. Uh, if you hit a Cider on stage, you can do a GC side light and it's basically all the same. Uh, it'll catch all the same ones uh, as a dare will. So, yeah, a GC side light on Gauntlets is always, you know, really good. Um, also, I think a GC side light is true out of a nair on, on low health anyway. One dodge frame. Um, yeah, I don't know. But, you know, GC side lights on Gauntlets are always a good option. I think, and it's pretty unpunishable, even if you do whiff, like, it's not the same as whiffing a, a you know, a, a GC downlight, because obviously if you whiff that, you know, you're stuck in place for quite a while, so, yeah, but a GC side light, you know, you're up here, you can jump out of it, not a lot of recovery frames, um, it's pretty good, but, um, I think that's it for dodge reads out of, out of these moves. I think we've actually covered quite a lot in this video. Um, I'm just going to go over things that I like to do now on Gauntlets and maybe uh, it can help some of you. Uh, now, obviously, Gauntlets are like a really short range weapon, right? Um, you know, they're really good into, into weapons like, like Blusters where they can get into the dead zones and get into the hitboxes and, you know, do a lot of damage. But when you're at range, you don't have a lot of options. So what I like to do is incorporate a lot of weapon throws. And even though it is pretty cheesy, um, if, you know, things like we dash weapon throw into dash pickup end light uh, is a good option. You can also do stuff like this and probably tilt your opponent. Um, weapon throw combos, I, I have a guide on weapon throw combos, but you can get a lot of cool stuff like this. Uh, this is actually a true combo. All of it. Um, it is a diagonal weapon throw. It has to be diagonal into a dash D light unarmed jump pick up the weapon turn around and do a dare and it's all true and you can get a dodge read out of that as well and it, it's just an easy combo starter uh you can do it grounded as well like that uh, I, I messed up the dare part but you know you know what i'm on about um what else oh actually i can't really show this though because the bots hmm uh, there's really not a way for me to show it but D lights over the edge like this. If you play Scythe, you know you, you know about doing it on Scythe. But um, if you hit a D light like this over the edge, or if you just spam them, you're not going to get punished unless it's a weapon like Spear or Blasters with like long range side airs. And if you hit, it's pr 
it's a pretty good setup for an edge guard uh, because obviously if you hit you can do a delight into a, a dare like that. Uh, sometimes you'll notice, and if you play Gauntlets, you you will have this happen. You'll hit the D-Light, and you'll fall off stage like that after it. So you can't actually dash jump, and then you'll end up like chase dodging downwards like this, right? Because you're trying to do the dash jump. Um, what you do to, to stop it is if you know you've hit it too far like this, chase dodge right like this, or chase dodge towards them even. Why did I say right? Chase dodge forward towards them like this, and then um, do a Nair, and it'll actually be true. Uh, you can do that grounded i will mess it up though but uh, <laughs> i have a guide on on grounded d like now uh, let's see if we can hear it here oh there we go um it, I, yeah like i said i have a guide on it. It, it that is something you shouldn't even bother learning until you're like diamond at least so uh yeah it, it's pretty advanced but um i do have a guide on it if you want to learn that but uh, when you do it off stage like this and you fall uh, you get obviously it's really easy. You just change it forward and then do it there, and then it's true. So uh, that that counts as you, you know, fall into death every time you hit a dare or D light. Sorry. Uh, another thing you should learn is uh, like dash jump, fast fall, ground pounds off the edge like this. Um, they hit so much more commonly than you think. Like if you do it, people will just panic and walk. Like they'll just walk into it. Um, I mean, they don't really have a choice. I mean, the hitbox is huge. Uh, speaking of the hitbox of a ground pound, though, let me turn on hitboxes, and I'll show you something that you've probably been told if you've ever watched a Gauntlet Guide or anything. But you'll see that. Okay, let me let me explain this. So when you're falling like this, you have this little hitbox here. This this small little hitbox, right? Uh, and you'll you can you can see it pretty clearly there. That is your activation hitbox. So if you're holding it and somebody, you know, if that hitbox collides with, with your opponent, then your big hitbox will come out, which is this one. And obviously, this is a lot bigger than this. Um, yeah, it's like, it's like triple, quadruple even. So what you want to do is not let your activation hitbox hit them. But instead, bring out your full hitbox before you hit them, uh, like this. If I if I can if I can actually show this off. So you see the activation one comes out there, but I don't let that hit him. I actually bring out the hitbox myself and hit him. And doing that is gonna secure the uh, secure you <laughs> a lot more like actual ground pounds, like actually hitting them. Um, so yeah, definitely, definitely practice doing these. Also, the fact that you can just you can just steer it like any way you want. You know, it's gauntlets. You can literally like steer the ground pound backwards. You can steer it forwards. Uh, you literally drifting. Um, yeah, he he knew you could steer a gauntlet's ground pound backwards, but then you can steer it forwards. You can you can make it like a letter. You can make the letter C with a gauntlet's ground pound if you do it like that. So um, keep that in mind. Uh, something I do want to show off, and I think I will be able to show this off. Uh, if I get him to the edge, without him falling off, we're just gonna hit D lights. I, d I don't, I don't want him to fall off though. It's the only problem. <laughs> I think this should be okay. Like this, okay. So, oh, whoops, that's not it. If you hit like a sir on the edge here, and they're on a bit higher health than this. Something I like to do, and that will confirm a lot of KOs, is dash like that off the edge, right? And then throw your weapon diagonally downwards. And a lot of the time, that's going to secure you a KO. And if it doesn't, you can pick the weapon back up um, like this, and then do a ground pound. And it that will hit so much more than you think it will. Um, the weapon throw isn't very reactable. Uh, like it is reactable, but a lot of the time people will just get hit by this weapon throw. So once they get hit by it, they'll they'll most likely dodge when they see you like approaching, right? Uh, like this. Oh, <laughs> whoops. Let me uh, actually try and show you what I mean. So you throw the weapon, and then when they see you like here, right, and they see you coming after the weapon, you'll pick it, you'll jump, pick it up, and here they'll dodge because they'll be like, oh, I'm scared now. 
a lot of the time, because they're scared and because they're panicking, they'll dodge in towards the stage. And that's why I reversed the ground pound. Um, which, uh, I don't know if you saw. I'll try, I'll try to show it again. Whoops, that's definitely not what I'm trying to do. But, yeah. If you reverse the ground pound, it'll hit. Um, I know it didn't hit that, but it's just an example. Uh, it'll hit them if they dodge in. If they dodge down and in, up and in. And if they do nothing, which which you also saw. Uh, so, it's... Yeah. It's a, it's a really good option, I think, anyway. Um, obviously, you can get punished for it. So, don't just throw it out, like, six times a game. Because your opponent will probably catch on and start punishing you for it. But, um, you know... It's all very good. Uh, and you can mix it up. You don't always have to go for a ground pound. You can you can probably hit something else. Uh, like a like a sa, a na, a da, anything you want really. Going on soft stage is, is insane. Um, and I'm sure you lot know that. Uh, I, I don't think I need to tell you twice about going on soft stage. Um, literally every single move sends like downwards. At a downwards angle at the very least. So, yeah. Um, I think... I've gone over most things I want to go over. I don't think there's anything else. Uh, like I said, I'll leave a, uh, I'll leave my guides um, as a card in the top right. Uh, I have a lot of Gauntlet's guides. You can just check out like my actual guides playlist. And I think I have another free Gauntlet's guides. Um, I have one on, on, on hitting Grounded Delight Recovery True, like that. Uh, I have one on hitting Grounded Delight Nair, which I'm not going to be able to show <laughs> show off because I, I don't do it enough I, I've stopped even bothering with it like I, I don't know so um and then yeah I have that uh, long gauntlet combo the, the gauntlet Russian mafia I have a guide on that as well and on every single reader of side light and dare and and light and stuff but um I think I'll do it uh I, I don't think it's been as long as my siphon was I think that was like a 40 minute guide but I guess we'll see um yeah Anyway, I hope I've helped. I hope you lot have enjoyed. Uh, I hope you've learned something new at the very least. And uh, yeah, I wish you all luck with Gauntlets. Because honestly, if it wasn't for like Gauntlets and Scythe, I, I don't think I'd enjoy this game nearly as much as I do. They're, they're just such satisfying and fun weapons to play. With a lot of potential of just like crazy strings. And just, y y you'll see. If you're watching this video and you you started learning Gauntlets, you're going you're gonna to find out, trust me. But, um, yeah. I hope you have a good rest of your day. Uh, if I even, I've even touched a like the video. I mean, if, if I help, then, you know, maybe drop a like. I'd appreciate it. And uh, maybe subscribe too. Yeah? Maybe? Anyway, yeah. Now, I hope you have a good rest of your day. <laughs> and peace.